Hey guys, today we're talking about Chanel's Holiday 2023 makeup collection. I'm going to show you the first pieces that I purchased from this makeup collection. I'm going to show you close-ups and swatches of the products in natural light and I'm going to create a look using the products. I want to try the products together with you for the first time. I'm very excited always for Chanel's Holiday makeup collections. This collection in particular is dedicated to the roaring 20s of Chanel. This is the time when Chanel became famous. She wanted to change the world of fashion. She wanted to free women from the constraints that fashion was putting upon them and overall this is a collection that celebrates the free spirit of Chanel which makes me very excited. I have one of the oversized highlighters as well so let's go ahead and get started. I would like to invite all of you to join me in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this makeup collection. I'm sure that a lot of you have already tried the products from the collection and you can share with us your experience with them. The collection first launched in the US and I've already talked a lot about the inspiration behind the collection. This historical period of the Roaring Twenties. And I'm not going to be talking too much about the inspiration because I'm going to link to this video in the description box. Initially, when the collection launched in the US, I used uh, photos from uh, one very good friend of mine, Eka. She is an Instagram content creator and she had amazing photos of the collection. She was able to get the collection so much earlier than me. I was very excited to see all of the swatches. The collection is more glittery, more festive, which is normal and it is to be expected from um, for a holiday makeup collection. The colors are neutral, but at the same time, you have plenty of little glitters in the collection, which is something that makes me excited because I know that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be in the mood to create this kind of looks for the collection. Now I decided to start slowly because this collection is um, it's very festive, it's beautiful. The products are, I like the, that Chanel decided to go for neutral colors which is actually represents so well the style of Chanel but at the same time all of the textures and the formulas are quite glittery and festive which um, Makes me feel excited for the festive season. I know that I'm going to be using these products a lot. Um, when initially I showed you photos of the collection and when I was commenting on the collection, a lot of you said that you think that I'm not going to like this collection because I like more subtle looks and I don't usually go for glittery looks. Well, that's why I purchased a few products from the collection that I know that I'm going to use. And for the festive season, for a festive makeup look, I like a little bit of glitter, especially when it's tastefully done, like Chanel's glitters are usually very well done and they are usually very tastefully done. I'm excited to try everything together with you because I'm actually speaking right now um, and I'm just looking at the products, I'm swatching them, but I haven't tried them on my face. But yes, I'm in the mood for a little bit of glitter for this festive season and that's why I actually decided not to purchase like for from the oversized highlighters I decided to go for one shade because I was purchasing the highlighter online and then after that I was able to go in store I was able to see the other two colors so we have three colors from this beautiful oversized highlighters and they all carry the symbols of Chanel my favorite Chanel symbol is definitely the camellia and that's why I decided to go for the Camellia highlighter in pearly white because I think that this is the color that is going to match my fair skin tone But there are two more colors that I was able to see in store one is warm gold and the other one is precious coral now I have to say that I I feel very tempted to buy the precious coral because it can be used as a beautiful blush topper and it's not that glittery. I think that the pearly white is definitely more glittery compared to the precious coral. The warm gold is the one that I'm going to skip because I know that I'm not going to use it. I would use it only for let's say festive looks but I have to be in the mood for this. It, it's not justified for me to buy such a big oversized highlighter if I'm not going to use it a lot. So I'm a little bit tempted to buy the precious coral let me know in the comments below if you have fair skin tone how it works for you because i tried it in store and i think that it works as a beautiful blush topper so i have to think about that but i have a lot of products that are on my wish list for this christmas season and that's why i'm not sure what i'm going to buy now i wanted to show you the box that the highlighter comes in this is the box of the highlighter and it comes just like this. It doesn't have a dust bag. It doesn't have one of these velvet cases, but that's okay. The highlighter itself is so beautiful. I decided to go for the Camellia and I do not regret it. It's definitely very glittery um, and almost like it's almost frosty. 
and I think that it's going to look beautiful also on the eyes, it's going to look beautiful on the face as well. Now this one reminds me of one of the Dior highlighters, it, they used to have this highlighter, it was almost the same I think, it was so glittery. I like it, I still have it somewhere, if I can find it I'm going to swatch them next to each other so that you can see. And I remember that I actually was very happy with this Dior highlighter but then I forgot to use it because it's a little bit more like let's say for a festive look or for an evening look, it's not something that I would wear on a daily basis uh, when I work but it's um, just such a beautiful creation from Chanel, I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to use it today. I think that it's going to be beautiful just on the eyelids it can be used on the face as well, we are going to see today. And then we are moving on, this is the old one, we are moving on to the, oh, I think that this is the star, um, I forgot to mention that these oversized highlighters are not part of the holiday makeup collection, they are just a limited edition oversized mm -hmm. highlighters, they are a separate collection. And then we're moving on to what I think is the star of this year's holiday makeup collection. This is the beautiful highlighter, it is the Du Lumière, this is the Illuminating Powder Duo. I absolutely love when Chanel do this kind of limited edition powders. I have a few of them that are actually limited edition and I did not touch them back then. I remember that I did not have a YouTube channel and I usually would keep uh, them as a collectible piece, let's say. I was just happy to look at them. And before having a YouTube channel, I was having a hard time to dip my finger into this kind of collectible pieces and this kind of detailed pieces. I absolutely love it. So here we have two colors. I, I think that this is beautiful. Let me go ahead and just swatch. And if I have to be honest, I think that the pearly white color here is very similar to the oversized Camellia highlighter. I'm going to make sure to insert um, videos here of all of the products in natural light plus swatched on my arm. I do apologize, I have burned my arm here because I was cooking a very delicious um, apple pancake with cinnamon for Nick because after surgery he needs to recover so I cook a lot I make sure to cook a lot so I would apologize for this but the pancake was delicious I'm gonna show it in one of my next videos because I'm so proud of it it, it was so delicious but then I was not careful so I burned my arm a little bit and then we are moving on to the eyeshadow palette okay I forgot to mention that actually this highlighter here comes with a velvet case and a little velvet pouch, a little velvet case for the brush that comes inside. So this little cute brush comes with the highlighter. I actually appreciate a lot this little velvet cases uh, that Chanel put with their products, that they add to their products because they protect the product. Let's say if you put it in a handbag or if you put it in a makeup bag especially, they protect the case. So it's always a nice touch. I'm always happy to see it. Next we're moving on to the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette again comes with its own little velvet case so that you can carry it around. The brush that's inside, I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, Chanel used to have beautiful sponge applicators that I love, I use. They usually come in the Les Quatre Ombres eyeshadows, they're for their quads. Uh, this one is not the velvety kind of sponge applicator but who cares about the brush really, we, you don't buy the palette for the brush. But still, something that Chanel should think about. I used to love their um, velvety sponge applicator. So the eyeshadow palette, again, beautiful. You have again this pearly white color. The colors are neutral, which is something that I love because it celebrates the spirit of Chanel. I think that it's an eyeshadow palette that represents Chanel so well. And you have the holiday touch to it. So it's glittery, it's sparkly. It's beautiful, let's face it. It is a beautiful creation. I like this creation from Chanel. So let's go ahead and start and let me try everything on my face. Okay, I almost forgot to mention the beautiful packaging that everything came in this um, festive packaging from Chanel, which makes me quite happy. Now for my base, I'm going to be using a combination of the water fresh tints from Chanel. I have it in light and medium light and this is basically what I use uh, right now in the let's say the fall season, I'm always in between shades and this is my favorite product as a lot of you know. So 
I'm, I'm kind of always forced to use two shades to match my skin perfectly. I'm using a, this is a Dior brush that is not, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face and also under my eyes. I'm going to be using this as a concealer as well. As a lot of you know, I love to use the Water Fresh Tint as concealer as well. So I'm using a brush from Dior that is not available anymore. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but this is the only clean foundation brush that I have. Next, I'm going to set the center of my face with some powder and then we're moving on to the makeup. I'm gonna fix my brows very quickly. The brow pencil that I'm using in all of my videos is from Floresis. I'm going to uh, make sure to link it in the description box um, in case I find it. It's from a set, but overall I really like the Floresis brow pencils. They are really good quality. Now we are moving on to the beautiful eyeshadow palette and I have to say that this eyeshadow palette, it just makes me feel so happy. The only glittery color here is this white pearly shade. All of the other colors have a very soft satin finish. They don't have visible glitter, they don't have glittery particles. So I think that this eyeshadow palette is actually very versatile, it's suitable for um, a lot of different occasions. There is sheen definitely in the four colors. There is sheen, but not actual glittery particles. Let's go ahead and start with this color here. It's so finely milled. I'm going to make sure to insert swatches here so that you can see it's very finely milled, very sophisticated sheen on this color. Then this one has a little bit more, let's say a little bit more of a sheen shimmer but I wouldn't really call it shimmer because it doesn't have glittery particles inside. This black color here again a very festive very beautiful black color it's not your uh, boring black color but I would say that it has a little bit of sheen and some the tiniest possible um, little sheens, I would say shimmers, it's a very interesting color and then this one is so smooth, it does not have any kind of, it's just a very very smooth sheen on this color and, and then this last one, the white pearly color, it, this is going to add this oomph, this is going to add this almost like a festive, uh, almost like sparkly sparkles to the look in case you want to. But I think that this is a very beautiful eyeshadow palette that you can use for every day as well. Now let me go ahead and start with, I want to use the first color here all over my face. I am going to be exploring the eyeshadow palette today. Wow, look how beautiful this is. I can say immediately that I adore the eyeshadow palette. So, so beautiful. I did not expect that. For some reason, I expected the colors to be a little bit more shimmery than that, and I'm so happy that they are not. So I'm gonna pop this color all over my eyelid. I'm very happy that I can use this color not only for the holiday season, but it turns out that I can use it for the office as well. Beautiful creation from Chanel. I can see this color is a beautiful one and done eye color that I can use just every single day. Then I'm going to use the second shade, same brush, because this is a big angled brush. I'm just going to take the color on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply the color in my crease and lightly define my crease. Beautiful eyeshadow palette. I... Okay, I keep repeating beautiful, but it's because I really like it. And I like that it's versatile. I like that I am going to be able to apply beautiful everyday looks with this palette, not only festive, but also beautiful everyday looks. So for now, this is going to be enough for me. Wow, I really like it. I'm gonna take a smaller crease brush, same color here. 
and I'm going to intensify just a little bit more. I do not see a reason why you cannot use this every single day. I think that it's um, the typical Chanel sophisticated eyeshadow palette clean brush just for blending purposes. Then I'm going to take the beautiful black color. I'm using a sharp brush. But it's um, a little bit more sharp and it has firm bristles, short firm bristles, because I want to use this color only close to my lash line to intensify the look. I'm taking the color always on the back of my hand. There is no fallout with these eyeshadows, which is amazing and it's to be expected from Chanel. So I'm applying the color only on the outer part of my eye and close to the lash line, almost like an eyeliner, but it's going to be a very soft, subtle line on my eye. Just make sure to always take it on the back of your hand if you use a dark color. Okay, next I'm taking a new brush and the second color again. I'm just going to start from the end of my eye and I'm going to move the brush, drag the color a little bit. Right in the crease. And if you have more hooded eyes, you can go a little bit above the crease so that the color is going to be visible. But I'm literally massaging this color right in my crease. And then again, blending everything with a clean brush. Now, just from what was left on the brush, from the black color, it's already, I did not dip the brush, but just from what's left, I'm going to apply a little bit on my lower lash line, only the outer part of my lower lash line, but I'm not adding any color. It has to be just what's left. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to apply mascara. Using my favorite Le Volume de Chanel. Okay, this is with the mascara on and then I'm going to apply the lipstick first and then I'm going to move on to the highlighters because I'm quite excited for, for the highlighters. And the lipstick that I'm going to use is, this used to be available in the past. Right now it's part of the holiday makeup collection. I wanted to show it to you. It's one of my favorite nude colors, which I think is going to match with, it, it matches actually this lipstick with any look that you're doing. It's a 812 Beige Brou. I absolutely love, love, love this color. And it's one of the Rouge Alors L'Extrait lipsticks. Finally, we're moving on to the highlighter. I want to try first this beautiful highlighter. This is the star of the collection, the Duo Lumière. And doesn't actually have a name. It just says Illuminating Powder Duo. It's uh, beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one first. The lovely, it's like a beige, it's like a rosy champagne beige color. Let's go ahead and see. Okay. <laughs> it is definitely a gorgeous, festive highlighter. You know what, I think I'm going to buy also the Precious Coral highlighter from the oversized because this just looks so beautiful. Oh wow, I really, really like it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and inspect them closely. You know what, it actually doesn't show glitter on my face. No. No, not really glitter, but this pure light. Now ignore, I have some um, a breakout here, which um, 
highlighters always tend to emphasize a little bit. So I did not apply, I should have concealed that, but you know that I don't like to apply um, foundation all over my face. So probably for a festive look, I'm definitely going to conceal that. But I just wanted to show you how gorgeous this looks. Okay, let me go ahead and go ahead and apply a little bit of the pearly white as well on top. Wow, I, I really like it. I really like it. Not sure how the camera is going to show this. Um, sometimes, you know, camera doesn't show things as beautiful as they look in real life, but this is just glowing and gorgeous and beautiful and I want to celebrate. I had a hard time in the past, um, let's say, couple of months because of Nick's surgery. A lot of you know that my long-term partner had to go through a surgery. I was so stressed out. I did not know if I was going to want to celebrate, if I was going to be in the mood to celebrate. I was also careful with my purchases because you never know when there is a surgery. You never know what's going to be, what are going to be the expenses. We had the cutest, the most amazing surgeon. He was so nice to us. And Everything went well. Um, thank God. Thank to all of you for, for all of the positive energy that you were sending me and Nick. Um, a huge thank you. A huge, huge thank you to, to this amazing community. I feel so lucky that I have created such amazing community here. Okay, that was a moment of... Um, I did not plan to talk about this, but it just came out. And... I'm so happy that I am able to celebrate now, that I'm able to, to have some fun. And I want to celebrate. I want to use this collection. Chanel is my brand. I mean, I, I have been using Chanel since my 20s um, when, you know, you never have money in your 20s. You're always saving. You're always like, what am I going to buy? Am I going to buy this or that? And you know how it is um, when you're in your 20s and also overall in life, you know, we are normal people here. Unless you are rich and you're born rich, you work really hard for your money. And Chanel is a brand that makes me happy. I'm happily giving my money to Chanel. Anyways, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this rosy, um, let's say champagne, almost like a sh rosy champagne color, which has a little bit of rosy, a little bit of beige. I like how they created this color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my cheek. And you know what? I can actually skip even the, uh, I'm gonna need to conceal this. So, okay, I have a breakout here and I have one pigmentation spot here, which is uh, for ears. I could remove it with a laser, but why would I do that? It's just a memory that I have. It's just a beautiful memory that my skin keeps. And overall, to everyone who has some pigmentation on the face or if you have some lines, wrinkles, I would say don't erase them. Don't try to Photoshop them. Erase them. This is just part of life. This is just part of who you are. This is just um, beautiful memories. Why would you erase them but i really like the glow so let's go ahead and move on to this the more glittery one this is the oversized camellia highlighter um a touch of glitter we're gonna have here um anyways i do i have a proper highlighter brush i need to pause the video no i do not have a proper highlighter brush but you know what i have this brush which came with the smaller highlighter and i'm gonna use it for the big highlighter so this is this side here which i adore and i'm definitely going to need you know what i'm, I'm gonna treat myself i'm gonna buy the precious coral because i think that it's gonna be a little bit more coral than this one and i can use it as a blush during the holiday season so why not i'm gonna sparkle but this one here specifically i do not see the glitters um, I'm not sure how it's going to be if I, like I have studio lights right now and it doesn't look glittery at all. Usually studio lights are going to make it a lot more. They're going to emphasize the shine, the glitter. They're going to emphasize a little bit also some imperfections, but I want it to be realistic, you know? I'm not going to apologize for not being perfect. So let's try this side and this beautiful oversized camellia. If I was in my 20s, I was seriously gonna keep this one it's not okay let's go ahead and see it's more glittery 
I don't get the shine right away. Well, this one definitely I can see the little glitters on my face. Um, but it's beautiful. It's like I almost feel like Snow White. I had a time in school when they were calling me Snow White just because I was so pale with uh, the dark hair and um, people were calling me, some of my classmates were calling me Snow White. Um, but I feel like Snow White right now. Wow, <laughs> I like it. Okay guys, so this one actually gives you this kind of a wet skin effect. It has tiny little glitters that doesn't look uh, bad. It looks beautiful. It just depends whether you're going to be in the mood for this or not. Sometimes I have to tell you I'm in the mood for this kind of almost like wet skin effect. Now here with this one, I applied a little bit too much because I was so excited and you can tone this down, definitely. You can apply less and it's going to be less shiny, but I absolutely love them both. Now my favorite one is going to be this one, the star of the collection, the illuminating duo, just because this is so beautiful. But in the oversized highlighter, Camellia highlighter, wow, I know that I'm going to enjoy this one so much because it is truly gorgeous, spectacular. Now here, I feel like I need to apply a little bit of blush, something. And if I do, if I apply here a little bit of blush, let's go ahead and apply actually a little bit of this blush. This is my favorite from the Fall Makeup Collection. It's Beige Coral and I need a fluffier brush. All of my brushes are not washed. <laughs> like I'm struggling to find a brush. Go, uh, let's go ahead and apply this going to use just a little bit here and um, I really like I actually really like this um, what exactly it's like wet skin effect it all depends on you what you want and what you're looking for. So here is without the blush, only the highlighter from the Holiday Makeup Collection, and here is with the oversized highlighter in pearly white and a little bit of blush. I like it. I think that it's pure light. I can see myself celebrating this holiday season. It is the pumpkin season now, it is the cinnamon season, and I cook a lot because I want Nick to recover. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video of me cooking. I have some nice recipes that I can share with you. I always get some new recipes. I usually, I never follow recipes, but I kind of enjoy cooking. I really like making everything from scratch and I have been cooking a lot lately. So if you want some inspiration, if you want some inspiration about some full kind of recipes, I have an amazing apple pancake that I can show. So leave me a comment, let me know if you want to see something different than makeup content. I didn't forget also about my Q&A video. It was just that when I announced that I was going to make a Q&A video and we understood about Nick's surgery, that he had to have a surgery and I was just like, my heart sunk. <laughs> I was, um, it was a hard time. And as a final touch, I'm going to spray a little bit of one of my all time favorite perfumes. This is Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum, and this is a very warm orangey patchouli fragrance with a lot of um, floral rosiness going on. And it's rosy, it's um, a little bit rebellious. It's one of the Chanel's best sellers, and I think that it's a favorite fragrance for so many people. And I love wearing it now because let's say approximately 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, this fragrance was so widely used and everyone was wearing Coco Mademoiselle. So now it's the perfect time to rediscover this perfume, to rediscover this fragrance. Okay, so this is going to be the finished look for Chanel's Holiday 2023 makeup collection. I would say 10 out of 10 Chanel. Thank you so much for creating this amazing collection. A huge thank you to Chanel's Makeup Atelier for making me happy, for creating this amazing collection for us. I personally like it. Let me know what are your favorite pieces from this collection. Let me know also what is on your wish list. And don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on because I have amazing content planned for you. And thank you so much for spending time with me. Until next time, bye.